Hello and welcome to www.nowatforyou.com and to 4EHS by EHS.com www.nowatforyou.com site is an info site it was established in 2010 while 4EHS by EHS is the e-store site which, which was established in 2012 The philosophy of the site is called the Nowrats 4 Step Plan We encourage our readers to follow it The first step would be to learn about EMF and EHS the second step would be to reduce exposure by reducing the use of RF devices and keeping safe distance from ELF devices. The third step would be to measure the radiation levels, find the sources, find safety distance uh, from ELF sources and by that to reduce your exposure even more. The final step would be to use EMF protection. In this presentation we will talk about two types of non-ionizing radiation. ELF and RF. ELF is very short range. Usually ELF levels will drop to background levels few meters from inside sources and about 50 to 100 meters from an outside source like a high power high voltage power line. On the other hand it is very hard and expensive to block. The frequency is mainly 50 or 60 Hertz depending where you are. The units are Miko Tesla in North America and milligauss on the rest of the world. Ignir determined its short term so called safety level at 2000 milligauss. In 2001, IARC determined that ELF magnetic field is a possible carcinogenic according to studies that showed elevated risk for children's leukemia at levels of only 2 milligauss. Radio frequency radiation is very directional, it is very long range and easier and cheaper to block than ELF magnetic field. RF range starts around 100 kHz and goes up to 300 GHz. RF units are milliwatt per square meter in North America, volt per meter in Europe and microwatt per square centimeter at the rest of the world. IRCNIP determines its short term so called safety level at levels between 400 and 1000 microwatt per centimeter square depending on the frequency. On the other end, in 2011 IARC determined that RF is a possible carcinogenic in every level from every source. ELF radiation sources include electric motors, power lines, power converters, electric equipment, bedside clocks and radios, microwave ovens, refrigerators, electric mosquito killers, ventilators, laptops, desktop, PC equipment, air condition, professional electric equipment, CRT TVs, and pretty much every electronic or electric device. Extreme low frequency exposure reduction should be done as followed. Keep a safety distance of half a meter to two meters from inside sources. Unplug or disconnect sources from the power line when not in use. Move ELF sources away from the bedroom. Measure and find ELF so uh, safety distance around sources. Measure ELF levels and arrange the room accordingly. Reduce your time in places that have high ELF levels. Use ELF protection in extreme cases. ELF protection is very complex but possible in cases of electric cabinets and is done by installing special metal plates with special magnetic characteristics. The protection material should be installed in layers with overlaps and should be big enough so when the ELF magnetic field will overpass it and it will uh, the levels of the fields will be weak. Radio frequency radiation sources include cordless phones, microwave oven when you hit something in it, Wi-Fi routers, Bluetooth earpiece, wireless game controls and consoles, wireless PC and tablets, smartphones and cell phones. In addition to the in-house sources, we also have the outside sources, usually in the shape of TV and radio transmission antennas, directional point-to-point -point antennas and cell phones antennas even if camouflaged or hidden. RF exposure reduction Minimize the use of smartphones and cell phones. Limit the time and number of calls used with a speaker phone or with an earpiece. Turn off the cell network data, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your smartphone. This will reduce the RF exposure and will improve battery life. Turn the Wi-Fi router off Use wired network cables, router and network devices. 
install wired cable phones which use a landline in every room. Build the wired low EMF PC working station. Move RF sources away, especially from bedrooms. If possible, stop using them altogether. Measure radio frequency levels and arrange the rooms accordingly. Reduce your time in places that have high RF levels. Use RF protection in extreme cases. External RF sources like smart meters, cell phone must, and neighbors equipment. RF protection is possible by installing RF block in windows film or curtains over the windows, installing RF block in wallpaper over the walls, painting external walls with RF block in paint, and using RF block in canopy over your bed. For EHS people it is possible to wear RF protection hats, jackets and other clothes from RF blocking fabrics. We encourage our readers to buy EMF meters because of the following reasons. With a meter you will be able to see the EMF radiation. You will be able to measure wherever and whenever you need. You will be able to find and handle problems before getting hurt. You will be able to lend the meter to other people, family and friends. You will be able to improve your understanding of EMF. And finally, you will become an EMF EMR Awareness Ambassador. Measuring EMF can be very easy. The basic measurement is to measure the levels where people stay. And if you find high levels, try to find a source or sources that cause it. The second more advanced way of measuring EMF is all about allocating and finding the EMF sources. In order to do that, you need to scan the room and then scan the walls for sources or penetration points. The basic idea is that when you get close to a source or a penetration point, the level will, go, will get higher and higher. When you move away from the source or a penetration point, the level will become lower and lower. When you scan the walls for penetration points, please keep in mind that windows pass all RF radiation, while blocks and concrete walls block most of it. On the other hand, ELF magnetic fields pass via most building materials. When you search for sources or penetration points on a wall, scan the wall from the upper left position to the right, and then down by 50 cm, then back to the left. Continue doing that until all the wall will be covered. Remember, when you get close to a source or a penetration point, the level will go higher. The third technique of measuring EMF radiation is finding a safety distance from an ELF source. Please know that only ELF sources have safety distance. In RF there is no safety distance. As long as you have reception, there is some radiation. Step number one. Measure the ELF levels near an ELF source in three axes. Find the strongest axis. If you're using a three axis meter, just find the point where the ELF field is the strongest. Step number two. Start moving away from the source. Watch the level drop until the meter reach the background levels. Step number 3. When the levels reach the background level, add half a meter. For more info, please see our info site www.noradforyou.com and our e-store site 4 Thanks for watching and see you next time.